for 10 to 15 minutes i am going to teach you the uh, you know basic concepts of light see there is one sheet there is one sheet and on this side of the sheet there is a source of monochromatic light there is a source of monochromatic light monochromatic light is one which emits radiations of single wavelength monochromatic light is one that emits the radiation of single wavelength okay now there are two holes there are two holes in the sheet let us say o1 o2 there are two holes in the sheet so light waves will come out of that hole light waves will come out of that hole Uh, give me one minute just one minute give me because i need to adjust okay so from the uh, from these holes light waves will come out and these light waves will have single wavelength so both these light waves both these lights light waves will have same wavelength but amplitude may vary amplitude may vary amplitude depends upon the distance of the hole from the source amplitude depends upon the distance of this hole from the source if the distance is close amplitude will be high and if the source is far from this hole amplitude will be low so amplitude depends upon how far the hole is situated from the source but wavelength will be same but wavelength will be same i request all of you <laughs> to be very attentive for at least for one hour you should be very very attentive it's a heavy fundai stuff it's a heavy fundai stuff and whatever we are discussing there was one question in gate this year gate generally people don't teach these things but in my free crash course also i have taught these things so one question was there in the gate 2023 okay now the light waves are coming out through this hole so at the center these light waves will meet these light waves will meet at the center let us say center is a now the distance traveled by both the rays will be same distance traveled by both the rays is same so you can say path difference is zero you know what is the meaning of path difference suppose there are two people suppose there are two people they started off from the same location two people started off from the same location one person traveled this much another person traveled this much so now this is the path difference 
okay so difference in the distance traveled by the people path difference so here there are no people it's a light wave so difference in the distance traveled by both the waves is called path difference so at the center when both the light waves are meeting the path difference is zero so path difference is zero so both the light waves will be in phase both the light waves will be in phase what is the meaning of that this is the first light wave first light wave see that is called lambda correct na from here to here it is called lambda and this is called amplitude this is called amplitude so this is the first wave now second wave will be in phase second wave will be in phase like this in phase wavelength will be same because the source is same wavelength is same because the source is same but amplitude may slightly vary amplitude may slightly vary because there may be some variation in the distance of hole from the source variation in the distance of hole from the source so because the both waves will be in phase they will they will superimpose each other and as a result of that resulting wave amplitude will multiplied by 2 this is the resulting wave resulting wave and this is wave 2 so resulting wave amplitude will multiplied by 2 this is called constructive interference this is called constructive interference as a result of that a white band will appear over the screen as a result of that a white band will appear over the screen why why, why the white band because the amplitude multiplies by 2 you will find a bright spot on the screen when both the light waves are in phase when both the light waves are in phase it leads to constructive interference it leads to constructive interference amplitude multiplied by 2 as a result of that a white band appears over the screen okay <laughs> now let us say at point b let us say at point b if it so happens if it so happens that the path difference here it was O1A was equal to O2A. Suppose if it so happens that O2B minus O1B is equals to lambda by 2. O2B minus O1B is lambda by 2. My, the, my path difference is lambda by 2. Because when we are increasing on this side, the path difference will keep on increasing because this distance will keep on increasing, this distance will keep on decreasing. So, as I, from the center, as I am moving this either this side or this side, path difference will keep on increasing naturally because see the geometry. So, at point B, at point B, if the path difference is lambda by 2. If the path difference is lambda by 2, then you know what will happen? This is wave 1. 
okay now there is a path reference lambda by 2 so this is lambda by 2 distance so the second wave will start from here because there is a path reference of lambda by 2 second wave will start after lambda by 2 so now these waves are exactly in the opposite phase these waves are in opposite phase so because amplitude is in the opposite direction their amplitude will cancel each other their amplitude will cancel each other and the resulting wave will have very insignificant amplitude resulting wave so the resulting wave will have very insignificant amplitude this will produce a dark band over the screen this will produce a dark band over the screen understand and this phenomena and this phenomena is called destructive interference this phenomena is called destructive interference and because of destructive interference a dark band will appear over the screen so why dark why the dark band because the path reference is lambda by 2 both the light waves are exactly in the opposite phase both the light waves are exactly in the opposite phase okay now let us say at point c if it so happens if it so happens that path difference o2c minus o1c if it is lambda if the path difference is lambda again there will be constructive interference as a result of that white band will appear over the screen 3 lambda by 2 dark white similarly on this side this is white dark white dark white you will get a fringe pattern you will get a fringe pattern so in a summary what we can say that from a source of monochromatic light if the path differences are 0 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda and so on it leads to constructive interference and when the path differences are lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 5 lambda by 2 and so on it leads to destructive interference and hence a dark band will appear over the screen